you're very welcome, ladies and gentlemen, here to Park Talton uh, for this, the Junior Championship, first round of 2017. They talk about the great local rivalries and local derbies in world sport. I suppose you have Merseyside derbies and you have Manchester derbies and uh, you have Kerry and Cork and Mead and Dublin. But down at local level, there's no greater derby than uh, Drumconnet and Mead Hill and first round of the championship. And who better to tell you all about it? He's had first-hand experiences. Our oh, match commentator Thomas Dardis. Thanks a million, Larry. Hopefully the rain stays away for this one. There's a bit of a breeze blowing across Park Talton, sort of heading to the hospital end at the minute anyway. That's where the Mean Hill boys have decided they went one way, now they're going the other way. Go down to kick into the hospital end. We have no match programme, but I think I know 99% of them. Young Ryan Carey there getting his first taste of championship football there at number 13. Ryan, a, a super young footballer, just coming up through the minor ranks. I trained Ryan for a number of years myself. Hopefully, he didn't train him too well for today, anyway. We still do have a fair young team, of course, a couple of older heads in there as well, but to be fairly young. As the Trumconnor team, when they do finally make their way out, you'll see for yourself plenty of new blood in the ranks this year. Trumconnor's led out there. By the captain of this year, Patty Dunn. Lads all eager, mad to get going. Good roller of from the crowd there. Of course, we've the, the usual suspects out there of uh, Terry Skelly was number nine. Good to see Terry back. He came back for the, the league match there a couple of weeks ago. Sean McMahon and number 15 Daniel Moore. 
Liam O'Brien from the Delete Value Cloud Club, and he is assisted by Patrick Dealers from Tremaine and Francis Flynn from Extension Cloud. So uh, I'd like to wish both teams the very best and may the best team win. Peter O'Halloran announcing the teams. Some kind of boys definitely seem to be up for it. Only Maloon, of course, the youngster in goals, has been ever present this year, Owen. Some kind of have plenty of substitutes, plenty of lads to have. More than willing and more than able to come in at any stage and make a difference in this game. The lads seem to be lining out as per numbers anyway at the minute. Nice little crowd here in Avon, you don't really see uh, crowds like this for opening junior matches, but is, this is the rivalry above all rivalries in County Mead. The very north of the county, from all the little parish of Conrad. The ball goes up, Terry Skelly and Tommy Rooney both contests of it. He, can, he gets it back to Tommy and Tommy drives it in towards the full forward line and Ian Malone who scored the goal after a few minutes. He got uh, uh, the opening seconds the last game, but Tomas Smith gets a block, good little, good little block there from Packy. Done. The ball hand pass back into Tomas Smith. Goes one, goes the other, goes into two tackles. The referee spotted that very well. Tomas was looking for the handy free as he went to go down there. Packy is is taking the the free kick. Trying to hit and hit fast. A good one in there towards Brendan. Brendan does very well. He just pulled the ground there by Ryan. The referee did put the hand up to wave advantage. Ryan Owens just sort of pulled Brendan back. Brendan lines back a little bit. Brendan was going to take it himself, but he's going to leave it to his centre half back, Stephen Crosby. Stephen looking for the big man on the full forward line, but he, instead he goes with Jamie Miles. Jamie off the right, cross the field towards Dano. Dano will be the ma one of the major danger men in there. But out towards Ryan Owens. Ryan steps back inside. Brendan lines a little hand pass back to Keith Guinea. He Keith gets on the second attempt as a bobble away from him, but he returned possession. Keith has a hand pass up towards Tommy Rooney. Tommy Rooney now with the whole of Navin thrown into. Tommy, the big long hand pass over to Moss Smith. Oh, Tommy just overshot the run with there a little bit. It was almost a, a hell of a ball in there towards Tomas. Oh, Muldoon just taking his time there. Putting the ball down just outside the. The 13 metre line, having a little luck, see who's moving. The ball just with the wind that is out there is sort of swirling in every direction. I'm not really too sure what way it's blowing. But only pops it up, pops it up in the air towards Tommy Smith and Terry Skelly. Both go, but out comes uh, Tommy. And a good ball into Tommy, finds Tomas. Again, Tomas has this one, cuts back inside this time. He opts for the point, and that's the first score of the match. Comes from the blue half oh, Tommy Rooney was was outstanding there now Tommy is after he was looking for Tomas Smith there a couple of times finally paid off Tomas Smith definitely up for this one only hits it again up in the air towards Skell and Stephen Crosby the ball broke down but the ball gets away from Tomas Conlon he, can, he has the hand pass up in there lovely little ball in through there 
and off and off the right boot and it goes up on the second score of the match to meet Hill a good quick rapid fire start from Meat Hill playing nice open football only switches the play this time it was Derek Duff and Terry Skelly both rise up but Skelly gets on the second attempt Terry Skelly is fouled there by Tommy Rooney Tommy just sort of slow and play down there on Skell quick one from Skell towards Daniel Daniel but just didn't get away from Daniel down goes oh <laughs> Brendan went to get down little foul there well done by Ryan Owens comes out with it and Ryan gets it little hand pass with Pierce McGrath there now on his right hand side Meet Hill now the attack once more steps back inside over and up with the left first and it's a hell of a score there for Ian Malone the player broke down here between Terry uh, Skelly and Derek Duff there's a man down here number 10 for Meat Hill the referee just blown the whistle just to he's looking for a ball as well as that the ball's going to onto the green bank there and there's nobody behind the goals to get it Three points to no score to Meat Hill. Drumhanna just haven't got into the game at the minute. Only hitting this one and thumps it long. Pierce McGrath doesn't go with. But the ball is broke. Brendan has the speed. Brendan has the speed. That's just got away. But oh, tucked it on the ground there. But referee didn't see it. Oh, Dano didn't look up there. But Brendan was up. But very well done by Ryan Owens. Just to shield the ball away. And James Moody comes out with the ball. Hands pass to Pierce McGrath. Tommy Rooney. Just off Tommy. Pierce McGrath has the ball again, there's to going one way, going the other way. And the ball is up and in towards Ian Malone. Ian does the ball broke from Ian and Ryan, but Ryan gets on the second attempt. Ryan carry. Hand pass in. Oh, Jamie Miles read it with the danger. Very, very well. Just not a great ball for Skell, but Skell does well and finds Sean McMahon. Sean McMahon on the attack now with him Convent. Sean hits it first time up in the air. Just gets away from Daniel Bone there at the last minute. And the little hand pass away. Meet Hill have the ball. Meet Hill building again from the back. Tommy Rooney has a Brendan Lyons trying to get the tackles in. Go one with Kieran Slevin just done for overholding. He probably did just step away. He took a little bit too much out of it. Robbie McIntyre now went back to field towards Damien. Ryan Carey did very well, gets a hand in, but also the hand on his back there. And Brendan has it, and Brendan this time goes back towards Damien, last Damien. Ryan Carey coming back in towards Damien, down along the ground towards Skell. Skell does well, picks it up, steps away from Ryan Carey. Skell is trying to get off the left boot. It's a tight angle from there, hitting the hospital goals, I'll tell you this much. It's three points to a point to men for Mead Hill, but that is the score of the game from Terry Skelly. A very, very acute angle. And a good score, Dame Woodlass creating a lot there coming through. Got the ball and then moved as soon as the free was on. Set up Skell and Skell popped it over. Dominic York now from Mid Hill drives it out to the middle of the field towards Keith Kinney and Jamie Miles and up goes Tomas Connell. Tomas only got the fingers for Keith Kinney. He has it now, Keith looking for a little bit of space to hit it first time when he does. In towards Tomas Smith. Tomas has it, hand pass back towards Keith Guinea, another hand pass from Keith back inside. Meet Hill trying to build, what a great ball, Alan Bourne cut it out there, finds Terry Skelly, Terry Skelly, Stephen Crosby, Stephen Crosby has a super, super tackle by Tommy Rooney. Tommy went down, but just the second one was a foul. The referee just tells Stephen Crosby to bring the ball up as far as him, Tommy just didn't release the ball. Stephen hits it across the field here. Finds Brendan, Brendan back towards Terry Skell, Terry just fumbles it, Ryan just put that boot in there just to try and slow him down more than anything, up towards Derek Duff, Derek Duff on the boot, now a great man in this position, Derek Duff, Keith Kinney gets him, oh, Keith gets him just before him, it wasn't a penalty, it, it wasn't a penalty, it, it would be in, in my book, would be a black card, it was totally intentional from Keith, well, he'd be a huge loss to be held by. I don't think the referee's not going for his pocket or anything. he just have a little crack with him. So don't do it again, or the next time it will be a black. But I didn't think he got chances in that situation, which is why the black card was brought in the first place. But anyway, 
Some referees interpret it different ways. Trump Connolly just getting more into the game now. Alan Bourne off the trusty left foot. Kicks it. A 14-yard free. Kicks it to the left and wide. The referee is having a little chat with Ryan. Just putting Ryan Owens' name in the book for the little challenge there on Terry Skelly as Terry was going through with the ball. Out it goes, good kick out again from Dominic York, up goes Jamie, and Tommy Rooney, Tommy keeps going with the ball, Jamie just trying to slow him down, Tommy looking for the movement from the full foul line, just didn't come at that moment, Pierce McGrath has it, he hits it first time towards Ian Malone, Ian Malone being tackled in there by Aidan Ty. Aidan doing very, very well, I thought he was doing well, but Aidan would be very, very strong in that situation, but the referee says no, he just left that hand in too long. I don't even know if it's a kickable free kick with the wind the way it's swirling around, but if it's an option, Pierce will definitely go for it. Pierce McGrath taking little runs up to it, hits it up very, very high, very high in the air, and it's over the bar. No hesitation from the umpires at all. A hell of a score. From Pierce to leave the score at four points to one after nine and a half minutes here in Park Talton. The quick one to, from Oni finds Terry Skelly. Terry Skelly stepping back inside. Tommy Rooney coming to pick Terry up. Tommy Rooney is absolutely everywhere at this moment in time. Terry steps back inside. Having a little look. Gets away from Tommy again. Looking for the movement. The movement comes to Daniel. But that sort of not a great ball from Skelly to Daniel. Daniel did sort of... Did all he could do with it, but it was sort of inside the, the pitch is where it was going. Stephen Hill to get the block in. It's a super ball in there towards the full forward line. Tomas Smith did get to it. Packy got to it, but Tomas picked it up. A lovely little pick up. Tomas went in and sort of put himself on the ground. <laughs> the referee is giving him the free that time. He punished him the last time for doing the very same move. <laughs> but he gave it to him that time. Tomas just sort of threw himself on the ground, but he won the free, and that's all the that matters. <laughs> Ian Malone fancies this one. It's up and it's over the bar. It's a hell of a score from Ian Malone to leave Mead Hill in a very commanding position here after 10 minutes with five points. Just to the one single point from Terry Skelly for the Conrad. And Mead Hill look really, really sharp here on these opening stages of this game. Oh, when he kicks it up in the air towards Skell and just the breaking balls. And Connor just aren't seem to be a layer to them at this moment in time. A super ball from right and Owens in there to the half forward. Hand pass it back towards Pierce McGrath. Pierce super blocked down from Terry uh, from Stephen Crosby. And all the attacking football at this moment in time is coming from the blue half of the parish. And Dominic York comes the whole way from the goals to have a go at us. More than capable of making the distance. Dominic has a little luck. Hits it. It's just pulling to the left. Nobody can keep it in at that stage. Just didn't really catch a hold of it there, Dominic. Only putting the ball down, looking for a quick one. Sees anybody looking at him, but there's nobody facing the ball at all. Hits it. Up in the air towards Keith Ginnahy and Jamie Miles. Jamie rises for the ball. Just broke away from Jamie once more. It's the Mead Hill man that comes out with it. Terry Skelly got a boot to it. And it's in towards Tomas Smith again, the pack he done. Tomas hits it first time, but that was not going to go over from Oni. Oni, little hand pass up in the air towards Damien Last. Damien Last now to Sean McMahon. Sean hits it down along the ground towards Brendan. Brendan doesn't just manage to keep it in play, and it's gone out. The referee says yes, agrees with the linesman. It is a Mead Hill. 
Line ball, Pierce McGrath has it now around the centre of the field. Pierce just steps back inside. Jamie Miles went to go one way. <laughs> he did, yeah, he knew himself. He nearly dropped the ball. As he fouled the ball, he nearly dropped it. He knew himself that he had fouled us. Jamie Miles looking for a little bit of movement. The movement comes towards Brendan. Brendan goes inside, but he's fumbled and he's got well done. Good tackle and all fairness from Ryan Owens. Didn't let Brendan away at all. I think that's Keown Slevin. Keown hits it first time towards Tomas Smith and Packy done. Packy done, done better that than from Packy. Good, better strength. Stephen has it. Oh, oh, Robbie and Brendan both there combining. Brent, Rob, Robbie has it. Going one way, going the other way. Stephen's looking for Stephen. Gets it, steps back inside. Keek in the heat back to Jamie Wilde. Jamie Wilde looking for a hand pass. The hand pass doesn't come. A good block down. And Alan McAvoy was coming out. But uh, Barry Keown's got to it first time and Barry doesn't care. He just... Gets it away from the danger zone and it's the line ball from Conrad. Tomas Conlon now has played midfield a lot of the year. Looking for movement. Oh, very well done by Derek Duff to make that his ball. But Tomas steps back inside, down along the ground to absolutely nobody. Only Barry Keynes. Barry fumbles over and falls over his own ball there, the ball goes down and the referee has a judge, Barry Keynes has found the ball on the ground, Alan McAvoy looking to take the quick one, he's going to put it down there Smoody is going to eye it up, he's going to see it. he's leaving it to Sean Smoody disappointed after maybe the last free kick Sean McMahon just behind the pillar there mightn't just catch him in the camera but Sean has a little go at this one very, very high, and the umpires before it even left his boot or away from wide. Dominic now looking to take the quick one, Dominic York. He decides to get against it. The ball is up in the air, Sean calls for it, and Sean sort of nearly got on Jamie's way, but Jamie has it now, looking for the quick one for Smoody. Smoody does very well, steps back inside, little hand pass up in the air towards Moss Conlon, Mossy, Mossy back to Smoody, Smoody trying to get on the left, little dink of a ball, looking for the nephew, just didn't get to, just didn't get to him, Barry's on the ground again, went to touch it, but this time he didn't. Back towards Ryan Owens, Ryan has possession of the ball, little hand pass, oh, very well done by Mossy, Mossy Conlon is found. Again by Keith Kennedy, the referee's going to have to have a little word with Keith at this stage. Would be two black cards in anyone's book, but I'd say, after giving him the chance to first him, I'd say this will be a yellow card is all he's going to give him now. Keith is a very, very committed footballer and sort of lives on the edge a lot of the time. The referee just shows him the yell and he says one more. Smoothie really hoping to make better of this one. He just puts the ball down while Tomas Conlon is looking for a little bit of treatment there, I think. Tomas is okay, a bit of, a bit of a drink of the jungle juice. We have Paddo Farley and Graham Ty both have a little warm up there as well. Does Moody get this one? No, Moody doesn't get this one. This one's gone to the left and wide. Two very, very scorable free kicks. Definitely by, by Smoody's standards, extremely scorable free kicks. Dominic York hits the first time out towards Barry Keane trying to make it out there. There's a bit of a switch for, from Jim Conrad. Shane... Uh, uh, Dan O'Bourne has gone out wing half. Smoothies in the corner. Little hand pass there from Brendan. Brendan finds Jamie. Jamie Miles. Keith's going to have to be very careful, but he did enough. Did enough to shield it away from Jamie. And now comes James Mooney. James was going to hit it, but decided not to do it. We hit on the attack again, and James Mooney has it been coming in here by, to Robbie. Robbie does very well. Oh, good tackle by Robbie. Oh, Robbie did everything right. And the referee has done James. Oh, we're holding the ball. And the old James threw the ball at Robbie. The referee didn't see it. Just threw it at Robbie there. He's sort of saying, well, what did I do wrong there, ref? He was right me. But the one who got the free kick regardless. 
Quick one in there towards Brendan. Brendan there within the corner. Steps inside. Jay is really going to say he catch Brendan. Not going to catch Brendan. Stephen Crosby has it. Nobody hit the ball. But Stephen hit the ball. Derek Duff. Derek Duff. Oh, rocks the crossbar. Rocks the crossbar, Derek. And he had to keep up beating all ends up. A better man in that position. You couldn't get in the red jersey. So, so unlucky. Did everything right. Back off the crossbar. He didn't have possession. And he had to go on the attack. Have a little look. Tommy Rooney has the ball. Tommy steps inside. A lovely little nutmeg from Tommy. Just leaves Robbie on his arse there. Outside of his boot. After Tommy Rooney, everything right. Gives a desperate ball over towards Jamie. But oh my God, this pace of Ian Malone came from absolutely nowhere. And just left Jamie for dead there over the last five yards when the ball looked Jamie's all the way. The referee's going to have a little chat with Jamie Miles. Is he going to put, going to give Jamie a yellow after that little dig at Ian? I think he, no, he's not. Just give Jamie a little talk on the day. Super ball there from Stephen Crosby to set up Derek. Pierce, uh, Pierce hits that one way, way up in the air. You're looking for somebody big to come out and get it, but it's not the smallest man in there. Robbie comes out with it, finds Aiden to Derek Duff. Derek outside the boot, looking for Brendan, but very well. Good, strong in there from Ryan Owens. Ryan will get to it before the line. He does just get to it before the line. And Pierce McGrath has it now again. Keegan, he has it, was going to hand pass it, decided against it, but does hand pass it over this side to... to Oh, very well done by Tommy Rooney with the shoulder. Just pushed Sean out of Pierce McGrath has it now. Back out towards James. James Rooney has it. Going in there towards Damo Glass and Ryan Carey. Good little battle in there from the two boys. James Rooney still has it. Going one way, going the other way. The ball goes over to the front. The hat number 12 for Meat Hill and he pops it up. And it's a hell of a score. A hell of a score to see if it's six points to one. And there's a Meat Hill substitute coming on. Young Ryan is, is is coming off. They are a little bit hard done by, unless you carry an injury, I think. A little bit hard done by. Jason York is coming in there. If they were that eager to start, Jason, they should have started them from the start and not be doing that on the young men, but that's only my opinion. The ball from Brendan. Brendan does very well to get the break. Terry Skelly has it now. Jason York coming in. He's trying to stamp his authority on it. And again goes Brendan. A super ball from Skelly. Ah, oh, Brendan has been fouled. He's been fouled by Kieran for 10 yards before Brendan actually went down. So we'll see what's, go what's the referee interpretation of it now. It's just a free in, and he's just putting a little tick beside Keon's name, I think. This is now Daniel Bourne to pop this. Nova has done it time and time again here in Navin for all the underage outfits the whole way up. So this is what's not going to phase Dano either way. Up he goes, pops it over the bar, doesn't make any mistake. Still leaves four points between the sides with 21 and a half minutes gone. Daniel's out there now, playing, sort of playing a wing half forward. It's the quick one from Dominic York this time. Mithil trying to build from the back, doing well, finds Kieran Slevin, Kieran has it. Goes one, goes the other, Sean McMahon, the referee just doesn't agree with <coughs> the way Sean was putting the hand in, I think he was just putting too much, but the ball is gone, quick one from Mead Hill finds Barry Kieran, the oldest swinger in town out there, I'm nearly sure, Barry. Uh, Ian Malone steps, just steps inside, Aiden Tide, yeah, he was going to give it off, but he decides to go with it himself, he's not going to get around Stephen Crosby, just as handy. And it's another 45 for the Mead Hill men. Dominic is making his way up. Again, he's going to have another go with it. Have a little chat there with Ryan. Maybe he's going to try something different. Don't 
Dominic taking his time, does a bit of movement there, we decided against he's going to go for the score. He has the distance, he just hasn't got the accuracy, more than the distance. Only Martin lo looks as if he'd be brought into the action fairly soon. He gives himself a good warm up, getting plenty of drinks in there, so we'll see what happens. Owen Muldoon with the ball. Hits it down the middle again, looking for Terry Skelly. Little, little nudge there with Tommy Rooney, but he got away with it, and that's what it's all about. Kikini, good tackle by Damien Lass. Kikini has it now, he's been playing as a full forward at this stage. The Polish sort of took him out of the, way of the danger zone, I think is what they did. Kevin Slevin has the ball now, Pack towards Tomas Smith. Tomas Smith, it's a hell of an effort from there, a hell of an effort, but has just gone to the right hand side and wide. Owen was going to take the quick one there to Stephen, decided against it, hits it first time towards Big Sean. The ball well done by, by Sean, broke it down towards Tomas, Tomas to Jamie, Jamie Miles out to Terry, Skelly under the acre in front of Skelly, Skelly just keep control of the ball, Derek Duff wants it, Skelly decides against it, could have been done for Calvin Carey and I thought, but the referee let him wear it, and there was absolutely brilliant stuff in there by James Mooney, in all fairness, James did very well. Never foul him, just shackle him, back to Ryan Owens with the ball, Ryan Owens gets away from Tomas Conlon, just steps back inside, changes direction, goes the other side, goes along the, down, down the end line here, kick in here, out in front of Damien last year, the ball just stopped away from him for this second, but he got control of it, Tomas Conlon has it, but kick in, he just, Tomas just came across him with the hand and the referee blew it straight away. The referee's assistant just... It's the quick one. Quick one, we hit on the attack again. He stepped inside Tomas there. To, it's a totally not made them well done by Stephen Crosby. Well done by Crosby. Well, Pierce McGrath did very well to hold on possession. Tomas Conlon did absolutely brilliant to get it back. And Stephen Crosby stepping away from three men from Meat Hill. Robbie McEnhagel clips across the head of the whole arm and defies Jamie Miles. Jamie Miles now. Hand pass out towards Sean McMahon. Sean slows the holding down and the hand pass towards Daniel Bone. Daniel, my eyes more effective in there on the full forward line, but he's out there now. And he had Terry Skelly. The ball got away from him. He's going to get on the third attempt. He's not going to get on the third attempt. It got away from him. It was no foul anyway. And Meat Hill by three and around Skelly. And come away from the ball to Tommy Rooney. Tommy Rooney down along the ground towards Keegan. He's got a lot of possessions since he came in. Well done by Damien last here. Just slid in there and got the ball away from Keegan. He just pulled out over the line. Packy Dunn goes out now to face to Meat Hillman. He has the ball there now. It's on the ground. Who has it? Packy Dunn. There's a hand of captain. Hand pass from Packy. Holy Jays. It just about got to Daniel Bourne. Daniel has it now towards Stephen Crosby. Stephen getting away for, with the ball. Brendan stopped completely. Stone dead as he waited for possession. But thank God Tommy Rooney just did something there on Stephen. Sort of pulling him back as he went to go on for the ball. But Brendan had the ball in his possession. He just stopped dead waiting for the ball to come to him. Stephen, the quick free kick to Jamie Miles. Jamie now, having a little look. Where's the movement? Skelly is in there moving. Look, trying to get possession. Stephen has it this time. And does find Terry Skelly. Back towards Stephen Crosby. Stephen off the right boot. It's in there. Smoothie. Oh, Smoothie still it in. No, it's not. And there he goes with the ball. Alan Ball just comes off the middle, man. It's a 45 for Trump Conrad. All a bit frantic in there from the men from Drum Conrad at the minute. He's still six points to two in favour of Reed Hill. And coming up on 27 minutes gone in the opening half here in Navin. And a McAvoy now to... Take this one. Alan has the range as well, as we all know. Hits that one. It's not even going to make it. Well done. Oh, it's in the back of the net. It's in the back of the net. And it's in the back of the net. I'm nearly shooting from Derek Duff. who got the fist on us. And out did. And out jumped everybody. And it came across Ryan Owens. And across Dominic York. And nestled in the back of the net. And there were there, there. A lot of the possession has been ill. And a sort of shell shock there for the few minutes. It's 27 and a half minutes are gone. The ball is up in the air. Derek Duff catches the ball and claims it. A hell of a catch up Derek Duff. A 
Allen now hits the first time. It's a quick one. The referee is going to do what with it? He's going to throw the ball up. Why? I haven't a clue. Only something that he's seen himself. I think... Uh, I think uh, when the mark was called, I think Derek Dove should have took his own mark, but he gave it to Alan McAvoy. I think that's what, who was the throw up. The ball is in and it's up in the air towards the... Who has it out there? No, it's young, one of the young, young Tullys, Barry Keown. Barry going to have a little go from here. It's up in the air, it's up in the air, it's up in the air. Oh, only Muldoon just put his own glove on it to keep getting he was, was threatening. And Tomorrow Smith trying to get it uh, up and has gone to a 45. Yes, the young player says gone to 45 and Dominic's going to come the whole way up again and have another part of it. Owen was just sort of half for you, but Keith Guinea there just behind him, and he was just stuck it out of glove at the last minute. And kept it in play. There's a, just coming up to a minute left of normal time. Dominic has a better connection at this one. You know where the sound of the ball and this to me gets it and pops it over the bar. Put a point between the sides. Just coming up on 30 seconds of normal time remaining here in the first half. Evenly, evenly matched. Game of football, evenly, evenly matched, lads. Sean raises for it and Sean claims it. Calls the mark. Sean McMahon hits it first time towards Dano. Daniel Bourne does very well. The elder statesman there out on top of him. Terry Skelly's in there now. It's Terry Skelly was pushed on the ground from Ryan Owens. Alan McAvoy has it. He says to Terry, Terry, I'll take this one. Alan trying to squeeze it through. A clatter of players. Barry Keynes does well and gets it on the second attempt. The ball broke away towards Jamie Miles. Jamie Miles just couldn't get possession. Pierce McGrath hits it first time in towards Damien Glass. And Keith Guinea, the ball is up in the air. Packy Dunn is going running towards it. Will Keith Guinea get to it? He does get to it, but the ball is out. The ball is out. He just couldn't keep it in play. A lot of, a lot of the time he'd held now are looking for Keith Guinea. And he is getting a lot of possession there since he has come in. The full forward line. The referee blows it up, blows it up on with spot on time here in Avon and the score is seven points to Midhill and one goal and two points for a great contest there in that first half, it has to be said but there's a point in us here at half time in Avon. Well thanks very much there Thomas Jan, a very exciting first half. Midhill may be having the best of the exchanges but that goal certainly brought Midhill had a four point cushion, brought it back to one and you know but for hitting the crossbar Don Connor could have been going in a couple of points up there, uh, Thomas. Oh, without a doubt, it was an unbelievable effort from Derek Duff there. He a little flick of the ball across from Terry Skelly or from from Stephen Crosby and just split the Mead Hill defence. And a better man you did, wouldn't want in that position was Derek Duff. Did everything right, only just rattled the crossbar. Well, they say maybe it should have been stoked along the ground or whatever. Uh, it's not safe for there. There's no crossbar there to stop it. But uh, anyhow, that's it. Exciting stuff here. Seven points to one two in favour of Mead Hill and we're really looking forward to being back with you for the second half we're ready to rock and roll here again now in the second half in Navin the Mead Hill men are kicking into the hospital end this half I don't know if there's an advantage of a breeze to either team but judging by Dominic York's 45s alone there seemed to be uh, a bit of a breeze in favour of Mead Hill in the second half, so Drumhanna sh- on the first half, so Drumhanna should have it here in the second half. A few little switches in there. I see uh, Ryan Owens going in there to full back to sort of put the shackles on uh, Terry Skelly. Brendan Lines is still centre half forward, but Keon Slevin has gone to pick Brendan up. We've young Tully out here now, and he's picking up Tomas Conlon, who Tomas was sort of getting more into the game there as it as it closed out. Big Shawnee McMahon. Completely different midfield now here on the second half for John Conrad. 
Big Sean went well underneath it. Little pat down towards Allen. Ah, super ball from Allen straight away. It is fine, Stephen. The ball there towards Terry Skelly. Terry Skelly held, held his, himself very well. Having a little look. The options there. It goes up. And it's over the bar. And it's a hell of a score from the boys in red and white. After only... 18 seconds of the second half. A super little tap down from Sean McMahon to Alan McAvoy. Alan McAvoy off the shoulder to Stephen Crosby. And Steve-O to Skelly. And job done after that. It's all tied up here straight away. As you were before, a ball was kicked to tall. Dominic York kicks the ball out. Middle of the field. Robbie McIntyre goes and battles for it. The ball is out. And the ball is gone. And it's a mid hill ball. According to Patrick Neal, stay on the far side. First time ball towards Keith Kinney. And Edo, Keith Kinney just breaks the ball down there to Young McCabe. For Mead Hill, Tomas Smith. Tomas Smith to Pierce McGrath. Pierce having a little look, has options there. Kicks the ball up in the air, up in the air. Where's it going to go? It's going to just sneak out to the right hand side as only Maloon watches it. Just to the right hand wide. Only kicks that one up in the air towards Pierce McGrath and Stephen Crosby. Pierce just gets the hand. Oh, a little push in Alan McAvoy's back. The referee didn't see it there, but the math and the game still goes on. Stephen gets it. Stephen hits it first time towards Daniel. Dano out like a rocket there for the ball and gets possession. He's looking for the uncle, but the uncle didn't move in time. He has it one way. He has it the other way. Tomas has it. Tomas back to Dano. Dano towards Stephen Crosby now. Stephen Crosby up in the air. It's not going to go near the goals at all. And Dominic York sort of snatched that there, Stephen. Dominic York. Watch that one go to the right and wide. Dano showed good pace out there. And they're the sort of balls he will he will prosper on. Just let them bounce in front of him. Dominic Yogg taking the quick one. And it's a good one. Tomorrow put a little hand in there. Didn't make much of a pressure on young uh, Tully. We tell men, ah, oh, brilliant tackle by Benny Brendan. Brendan now, going to open the legs, he's going to test now. Tommy Rooney, Tommy Rooney with a hand in. And that's three times on Brendan Lines. Three different middle players have taken him down and his part on goal. This referee obviously doesn't believe in the black card or maybe he left his home in the house. But he doesn't seem to have brought with him today at all. And it's a free kick and that's all it is. Brendan was definitely gone there and had to sort of drag him down. Down and pops up. No, it's up very, very high. Will he make it? Will he make it? It's gone to the right. They all said it's gone to the right. The referee said it's a point. He is the thumb up. Now he's waving it wide. Maybe he's just it was just agreeing with his umpire. Dominic York again was looking for the quick one. It's up in the air towards Stephen and Pierce. Ball broke down, broke away from Allen to Tommy Rooney. Tommy Rooney beaten through a few challenges, going one way. He just ran into a, a pilot in hundred. Tomas Smith wants to go back on the inside towards Pierce McGrath. Pierce is on the ground. Pierce is on the ground himself. Nobody touched him. The ball broke out, and the referee did, did Pierce for tipping the ball on the ground. Oh! He he didn't get quick when it was never going to work. He was too lax at the easy way. The ball broke away to bend the lines and Tommy Rooney. Tommy Rooney has it. Looking for the quick one, Tommy Rooney. But the referee is bringing him back. The boys were calling Dominic Yaw for it. It's the quick one. The referee's not looking at it at all. And beat Hiller on the. Pierce McGrath had it there. The ball broke in then again to Young McCabe for the super first half. It towards Young Toll was going to have a go himself, but to Tommy Rooney, Tommy Rooney off the neck of the boot, and that one's gone to the left and wide. Substitute hands from Conrad team, to who's going to make way for only Alan McAvoy is going to be taken off in place of Oni while Sean McMahon goes down with a touch of cramp. There must be going to be a little bit of a switcheroo here because I don't think Oni's going to be middle of the field. Oni's going to 
go out there. I think it's Tomas. Tomas Conlon has gone into the middle of the field, I think. And then give all he had out there, in all fairness. Looks a little bit out of, out of the wind, that's it. Little nudge in the back every time the referee has spotted at that time. Steve has it, hits it up towards Skell and Ryan. The ball broke away to Brendan. Brendan did well. Daniel Ball did absolutely brilliantly. And Daniel taken. How the referee didn't spot the free kick. Skelly off the left as he's fallen on the ground towards Brendan and Kieran Slevin. The ball broke to Smooth. He gets a hand on it and no one reacts to it. The only man to react to is the middle man to come in from nowhere. The referee blew the whistle for, I'm not too sure what, little pull of the jersey, I think. Ryan owns now with possession. The ball is, the, the, the pitch is sort of open, there's more spaces out there. Well done to Brendan. Brendan putting in a nice little shift, throwing a few digs and a few clatters in there. James Mooney has it, and James just accidentally sort of caught by Derek Duff. Derek, first man to put his hand up and agree with the referee. Back in towards Young Tully now, coming out with the ball. Hand pass towards Barry Cairns. Barry Cairns, little tackle in from Tomas. The ball is up in the air. Not a great ball from Barry, but Dave Woodlass is going to watch it go out. And it does go out. Referee said wide. Ian Malone has, was sort of looking for a, a 45, I think. Pace just seems to have gone out of it at the minute. We have Graham Ty, who's been absolutely brilliant, Graham. I thought in the, the last B League match above the pitch. Definitely earned a, a, a call into the first team. Up goes Sean. Got by everybody. Well read by Derek Duff. Derek hits it first time in towards Terry Skell. Ah, brilliant by Skell. He came from no one, Ryan. Oh, that's a free kick. Every day of the week, it's a free kick. Robbie was going to take the quick one, and Derek was waiting patiently for it. It's all square here in Navin. Seven. Coming up on eight minutes gone here in the second half. And only a point for Tom Conrad so far here in the second half. Oni and Smoothie both making the runs out for it. Sean says, I'll go for myself, but it's pulled way, way, way to the left and wide. I, I hope these free kicks don't come back and bite Tom Conrad in the bollocks because they've definitely three or four very, very kickable free kicks have all sailed wide. Dominic York once more hitting it out. Stephen Crosby and Pierce McGrath both went up for it. Sean reacted very well to Jamie Miles. Jamie first time hit towards Terry Skell. Bobbled away from himself and Ryan. Having a great hill battling the other two of them. Stephen Crosby and Pierce McGrath had the arms round Stephen. Oh, he's a free kick. The referee was just waiting in fairness to the referee. He was waiting to see the Stephen pull away. We're going to see who's going to kick the free kick. There's a lot of people shouting down there. Let Derek, Derek Duff have a couple of go with them. Dano coming out and in goes Graham Ty. Dano getting a good round of applause from all the supporters Smoothie if ever they wanted a free kick is now Smoothie hits that one and it's gone to the right hand side and mother of law sweet divine jays it's gone to the right hand side and wide and these simple simple wides are just piling up on from Conrad that's when just heads go down all around them and they'll just G up the Mead Hill lads Dominic York hits it out first time towards Sean McMahon and Tommy Rooney. Big Sean, he rises. And Big Sean, he comes down with it. And the referee blows the whistle, tells Sean to come up with it. 
Sean, he just warms Tommy Rooney's arse with it. Sean have a little look, look at that possession. Goes back to field towards Stephen Crosby. Aiden Ty is looking for it here, Stephen. Switches the play out towards Graham. Graham gets the hands on it. Little hand pass in towards Robbie. Robbie, it was no foul. Well done. Down goes Derek Goff. The referee said there's nothing wrong with that. Everybody in the ground here thought it was a push except the referee. And we'd hear a building from the back. And out there and he finds James Mooney. James puts the ball under the shoulder and runs with it. Robbie McEnegan is going after him. Can Robbie make it? But Stephen Crosby's coming to call it out. James Mooney still getting round Stephen. Great tackle by Stephen Crosby. The referee agrees with him. And out comes Aiden tight with the ball. Aiden having a little look. It's up in the air towards Mossy Conlon. Mossy hand pass towards Jamie Miles. Jamie Miles, owned by the crowd, finds his devil or a park mate, Terry Skelly. And back to Jamie, Jamie, the hand pass award. Oh, but you didn't tackle a super tackle, I have to say. A super tackle from Kieran Slevin. Jamie Miles has possession now, looking for movement. The movement comes in from only Martin, only just in the action now. Having a wee look, it's Terry Skelly the call to the ball. And nobody on the inside forward line now. Terry Skelly, Jamie Miles out here at the right hand side looking for it. He does find Jamie well, but there's still nobody on the full forward line in there. Smoothie has it. The wee hand pass up towards Stephen. Will Stephen make it? Stephen does make it. Stephen stepping inside and coming off his right. Fourth, and the crowd like it, and Crosby likes it, and everybody on the field in red like it, and to kind of take the lead for the first time in the match. A super, super bit of football there from Drum Conrad. They didn't panic. They kept looking up for the movement. The movement, as ever, came from the man with number six in his back, Stephen Crosby. Dominic York now to kick it out for Meat Hill again. Drives it down the middle, down the throat of Big Sean McMahon. Sean rises for it and holds the old auto and he calls the mark. Sean hits Oni Martin. The difference Sean McMahon has made here in this second half has been unbelievable. Oni Martin being fouled and the referee totally agrees with Oni. And out comes sliding. Anything up in the air. They're going down now. David Crosby, I think, for Meat Hill is going down. Going to have a little chat with Dominic York to keep the ball away from Sean McMahon. It's a quick one to Stephen Crosby. Stephen Crosby faced by Tommy Rooney. Behind pass towards Ske- Terry Skelly. Skelly trying to get on to the left and trying to call it in. And does he? And once again, the crowd love us. And they react wildly here on the league of Aaron Navin. The hand of the crowd here was O'Connor. To Connor go. Two points in front at the moment. The Meat Hill player down with his head on his hands. I'm not too sure who it is. I thought it was Keon Slevin. It's actually James Mooney, I think. James, in fairness, has covered serious ground. Serious ground up and down the field this whole game so far. Paddle Farley's warming up. Peter McAvoy is warming up. But I definitely think... I definitely think Mead Hill are trying to stretch it out. And keep it... Uh, going to put it down the middle and keep Sean away from it. James Mooney gives the OK, that I'm alright to go ahead, Dominic York with the free kick. The ball is up in the air again, as I said, they're going to be keeping away from Sean, he has to catch in two or three unbelievable balls. Keegan, he has the ball back into the, the danger zone for Keith out there at the minute. Pierce McGrath hits it first time, it's along the ground, Tomas Smith is coming right, is it? It's on the ground, only what a save from Owen Malone! <laughs> what a save from the young man, he hasn't had to do practically nothing in the whole game but when he was called upon he made an absolutely brilliant save one five for Drum Conrad seven points for Mead Hill Dominic York he scored one out of three attempts in the first half alone we'll judge this ball now because Dominic will get plenty of air on it and we'll see what way the, the breeze is carrying us. Dominic steps up. Hits it. That looks good from here anyway. No, it just pulled out to the left-hand side and wide. I don't think the, the wind, it doesn't matter how always blown to Dominic. He's going to get the, the distance every time. Oh, Maldoon once more. Eyeing up. So he has to be eyeing up. 
Big Sean Ian Jamie side which he does Big Sean is up again rises broke down well done Tommy Rooney that time Young York comes through with the ball, getting away from Ada only for a short time, but Pierce McGrath has it. Stephen, as ever, and who else? But it broke to Tomas Schmidt. Oh, and in there was brilliantly by Brendan Lyons. Brendan Lyons, absolutely outstanding to Stephen Crosby. Stephen Crosby, hand pass to Robbie. Bobby McIntyre taking away with the ball. Stephen's there behind him if he wants it, but he puts it down towards Terry Skelly, who had no right to get to the ball. Only Martin held off him, and Brendan Lyons has pulled it down by three meal men. The lad's standing on him. The lad's pulling him. The lad's dragging him. And young Lyons still gets up and gets on with the game and calms everybody down. Stephen Crosby with possession, having a little look. Oh, he comes out demanding the ball. Stephen says, no, I'm looking for Skelly and Shawnee. But it goes towards Graham. And the ball is up and away towards Derek Duff and James Mooney. James does very well. There's no free kick. The referee says, oh, it was a little push in the back from James and Derek. Both of them men are having a superb game out there. It's a quick ball from Jamie towards Graham Ty. Graham looking with a little hand pass. Who's he going to find? His, oh, the referee just did him for overhold. And I think he had, could have bounced it twice. I'm not too sure if we look at that and detach later on. Kiki, he gives the quick one. Quick one towards Young McCabe out there. The number 12 down the throat of Ian Malone. Ian Malone has been very quiet in this second half. And it's back towards Young McCabe to Pierce McGrath. Back to Young McCabe again, looking for the little chance for a shot. Back towards Young Tully. Pierce McGrath steps inside. Sean McMahon, a brilliant tackle by Sean McMahon. A super tackle by Sean McMahon. Just got the hand in. Aiden tries to thump it out of the field. It's down towards Derek Duff. Derek, but it only broke up from Derek and then towards to beat Hillman. James Mooney has the ball now again. James, the hand pass back towards Young McCabe who steps inside Jamie Miles. Has a little look. Keep Guinea. The ball is broken up here. To Moss Conlon. Moss, he came in from Nova. Got the hand in. And who has it? Brandon Lyons who has been outstanding in this game. And every time he touches it, a man in blue seems to foul him. The man is like the Duracell bunny. He hasn't given up at all from the wall was thrown in. As we wait for Stephen to kick this one towards Mossy, to Moss, who's been coming more and more into it, slowing the whole thing down. Brooks for Stephen and finds Stephen. Stephen with the hand pass towards Aiden. Aiden, whose foot passing hasn't been great the whole game, I'd rather he's stuck with his fist than Jamie does the same. Back towards Aiden, and Aiden, as I said, the foot passing has been poor, and he just gives that one away fairly quick. Out towards Tomas Smith, Tomas Smith down towards Ian Malone, and in comes. Damo Glass towards Ian Malone. Ian Malone trying to look, run into space. Could have been done for overholding. And a good tackle. A little push there from somebody from Conrad. There must have been uh, Damo with the hand on him. And it's a free kick. Keith Ginn, he looks to be have a little chat with him, with Ian, to tell him what to do. There's 18 minutes gone here in the second half. Ian Malone fancies his chances with this one. Ian's just behind the pillar of the cameraman should step into it there and then <laughs> Ian took plenty steps forward Sean McMahon goes got to Sean's grasp and it's wide it's wide the, the old player said I don't know anyway we'll take it Sean seems to put up for the ball went through over then he came to Oni and I didn't see a meet hill man near us but Sean we'll take it Just coming up now, and 19 minutes gone here in the second half. Only thumps it down the middle once more, looking for Sean. Sean and Tommy Rooney. The ball broke away, and who's going to react? But Jamie was going to go, didn't talk about it in the second time. He went down to meet him, went down in the ball, actually picked the ball, ball up. The way. Brendan Lines once again. Shot. Who is only Brendan? But just gives away the free kick, and Tommy Rooney hits the first time towards Ryan Owen. Ryan Owen's in there towards. Young York, who has the ball and has possession of the ball, he's going to go for the score. No, he's not going to go for the score. And in comes the number 10 from Eden, switches the play. Damien Glass, and brilliant, brilliant by Glass. The referee said it was a shoulder. It was a shoulder on Damien Glass's face. I don't know how it was a fair shoulder, but me is in the possession. The ball is up here. Keep getting. He was going to go for it, but it's gone. It's gone to the right and wide. And the referee still saying, still pointing to the shoulder. I can't see that on myself. Great excitement here, Thomas. There's 10 minutes there left. Hallelujah. Hope it goes on for another half hour. <laughs> I don't know what they're only, only now ticket was rewired there a couple of months ago. I don't know what I'd be able to put up with this at all. Nobody 
pass down your remarks and just keep looking at the game. Pado Farley now going to be brought into the action for Jim Conrad. Getting his last minute instructions there from Anthony Monhan. He's been told to, be, to go on ahead. Jim Conrad team with Pado Farley is going to go in for Smoothie. Patrick Farley will. Patrick Pado Farley will definitely give. He'll definitely give. Uh, Barry Kieran something completely different to think about and that's for certain sure and if a ball drops in there at any stage in these last few minutes and it falls to that man he will most 100% bury it Only Muldoon knocks it up in there it's going as far as Mossy the ball broke well done by Mossy he could do nothing only put the hand on it and Robbie Bobby's gone through the middle can he be spotted oh well done by young Back and play down to tw who or where are we now? We have Ryan Owens get through the ball. Brilliant well game by Sean McMahon! A Graham tie combined! Paddle Farley to Robbie McIntyre! Robbie steps inside, two tackles from Mead Hill with a lump of a chair as you back towards Stephen Crosby. Stephen, good through! Stephen having a look, kicks it first time in towards absolutely nobody. We're just pulling out to the left and wide. It looked for a minute like it was going to drop short towards Brendan. Sean McMahon down I'd say with a bit of cramp now in fairness Tom I haven't seen Sean McMahon run this long in a, for this long in a long long time in fairness to him he's putting it all in there today a little bit of the magic spray for Shawnee. 8 minutes of play to go We definitely couldn't afford to be losing them now at this stage. Dominic Yard, Scale is going to just shift positions with Sean at the minute. Dominic York drives it down towards Tomas and Tommy Rooney. Tomas and Tommy both of them sort the had it down. Tommy just pulled it away. Outside the boot from Tommy towards Damien Glass and Ian Malone. Ian Malone just little nutmeg towards Damo. He just just did them there off the left boot from Ian Malone. And there's a point. Both umpires agree and step back inside. And that just leaves the point between the sides. It's actually a draw match. It is a draw match, sorry folks, I thought it was two points before that one. She's all square here in Navin. Oh, and he hits it out. Super ball there towards Terry Skelly, but Terry got way under the ball there, in fairness to him. And it's the hand pass and beat Hill are going to attack now with James Mooney. James getting inside Robbie McIntyre, and Robbie just fouled him. Put the hand in, and James made the most of it, jumped up, and there Young Mahir was going to take it from the wrong spot. Keegan, he hits it first time towards Ian Malone, who's getting a bit more freedom now, getting his confidence into the game. Being met by Stephen Crosby, hand pass towards Pierce McGrath. Pierce McGrath, back, oh, super block there. Who was that? Jamie White, the ball goes up in there. It's a silly, silly foul. Ian Malone just ducked into it from Damien last there. Very, very kickable free kick. By the time this is done, Ian has gone down. I think he'll be all right now. Ian could be just clever here now, just take a bit of time and pop it over the bar.
Ian Malone now about to pop this one up doesn't really miss them too often Ian and he's fairly confident as he steps away from that one that puts a point between the sides with Hella back in the lead The referee has a little look at his watch there and just four and a half minutes of normal time. I don't think there's going to be too much time added on anyway. Only the quick one out towards Packy. Packy goes inside Thomas Smith. Packy hits it first time and it comes out here over the line beside me. Barry Keynes take the line ball from Hill towards Pierce McGrath. Pierce McGrath back towards Barry Keynes. Only does well. No. Th oh. Barry Keynes wins the free kick. The referee brings it up for Pierce McGrath. Pierce going to go one move back towards Keynes Levin. Keynes Levin being faced by Skell. Pierce McGrath. Good man to hold possession, Pierce McGrath. And fair off the neck of his boot there towards Young McCabe. Who hand pass back towards Keon Slevin. Now just bounce from Keon to Jamie. Tomas Conlon was absolutely screaming that there on his own for the ball. And now he's been marked. He was there for about 30 seconds on his own. But Stephen Crosby has it. If ever we needed something special from that man, we needed to. Crosby has it. And Tomas Malone just put the hand on him. And Stephen made the most of it. And Stephen has the possession there. Mossy's looking for it. Mossy's gone one way. He's switching the other way. He was on his own four or five times there. Crosby hits it first time in towards Big Shawnee. The ball broke to Paddle. Paddle was looking for Skelly. Ah, oh, referee. What does the man have to do to win a free kick? Towards Robbie. Robbie towards Graham. Graham trying to get a foot and wrapped around it. The ball is up in the air. To the wall. It's up. It's up. Oh, it's gone to the left and right. It looked as if it was going to scrape over the bar there. Dominic York seemed to have reserved the fact that it was going to. There's still three minutes left here. Plenty of football to be played yet. Dominic now a bit slow with his kickouts now. Kick in, he is calling for now here. The ball is down the middle. Marcy's up for it. The ball broke away towards Young McCabe. Well done by Pierce. McGrath has a hand pass. I'm not too sure who has the number 10 for me. Hill has it towards Oni. The ball broke. Oni has possession of the ball. He's hopping and having a little luck. Looking for a bit of help from somebody. The ball goes out as far as Stephen Crosby. Stephen has it. Stepping back inside the Mead-Hill man was fouling on the referee has the hand up for advantage. But Bobby has it. Advantage is over. Oni was looking for it. But there's too many blue shots around him. So... Pa Oh, Bobby Boy. <laughs> lost possession. The ball did well and got out with it. The referee has given him a free kick. Skell is looking for the switch of the play completely towards Graham Ty, who's been absolutely brilliant since he came into the action, Graham. Graham, little bit of toe to hand. Skelly's coming off his shoulder. He spots Skelly. Skelly horses to review them. By Keith Kennedy. It's Terry Skelly. And Terry Skelly's taken down. The referee says no free kick. What the fuck is going on? What do you have to do to get a free kick if you have red jersey 14 yards from goal? And they have possession back. It's Sean McMahon off the left. But young Tully does well against the breakdown from Tommy Rooney. And his hand pass out here towards Young McKay again, been faced by Sean McMahon and Kenny, he's been faced by it's a brilliant ball, Graham, Graham Ty and Young Tully did well in the ball possession there, and we hit him on the attack the ball's over the heads, Tomas Smith is a race with Packy Dunn, Tomas gets the ball, picks it up very well, Packy Dunn trying to get the hand on it, Tomas Smith's in his possession the wee hand pass towards Ian Malone there Ian Malone has it going through with the ball nobody had to help him, and now it comes the referee blue for advantage for a free kick for me Hill there on Tomas Smith, I didn't actually see what happened to him Sean McMahon is going to be taken off now from uh, Peter McAvoy. Peter McAvoy will be straight in there with full forward and be Route 1 stuff. But only a few seconds to go. Peter threw the ball away. I don't know why he did that. It's going to be time wasting is all that's going to happen there for Mead Hill. The time will be well up. Sean getting a good round of applause in all fairness. Had a hell of a game, young Shawnee. This, this kick from Pierce could seal us in fairness. Pops it up. It's gone way, 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 way. After hitting somebody in a hospital bed, it's gone that wide. 
The referee hasn't said how much time there will be. So we don't know what it is. Up to the referee. He hasn't made any. He's looking over here. Three minutes, I think, is what he said. I think it's what he's single over three minutes. Up goes Marcy. We need a ball round the middle now. Tommy Rooney comes out with a ball. Referee, how did you see a free kick there? Absolutely baffling how you seen a free kick there. Tom Conrad had umpteen free kicks. Surely to God, James Rooney, very, very clever by James, and pops it over the bar and puts Mead Hill two points up. Two points up, he puts Mead Hill. And the Mead Hill crowd now have gotten very noisy all of a sudden down there at the left hand side of us. Emmett Matt has been brought home for Thomas Smith. Only takes a quick one towards Stephen. Stephen's going to try and build something from there. Hits it first time towards Jamie. Jamie, possession. It's very, very vital. Aiden Ty is just coming through the middle if he wants him, but Jamie still has it. Finds Bobby. Robbie McIntyre got off the neck of his boot towards Oni Martin. Oni Martin back up towards Peter McAvoy. Peter McAvoy. Not a great ball from Peter. A fucking terrible ball from Peter. The ball is on the ground now. It's be broke towards James Mooney. James Mooney possessions all the matters now. Good little chicken there by Robbie, but Peter McAvoy comes in and does the foul. And there's blue shorts all over the place now <laughs> all of a sudden. Two points between the sides. Christopher Ty's been brought on, and so has Paul Ty been brought on. But I think the the game is up. I don't think they'll even get a touch of it. But from Conrad had serious possession this second half and just didn't make the most of the possession at any stage. And their time is up. We're just in injury time here in Navan, and it's ten points to meet Hill and one five from Conrad. Two points between the sides here. The time is up, so we're just waiting for the referee to sort of blow his whistle at this stage, folks. James Mooney has possession. Ryan Owens is out there. They're just going to hold on to the ball now as long as they can, and you can't blame them for that. Back towards James Mooney. Graham Ty got the tackle in. We tell have possession. Knocking the ball around there with ease. Nobody tackling them. Holding possession. Not quite entitled to do. Keep getting he has it. The referee is having a little look at his watch, wondering what's going on. Everyone's wondering what's going on. It's up to the referee. James Mooney does very, very well. Keep it, he was looking for. Mid Hill men still have the ball out there. Are they going to have a little go? Oh, a nice little touch. Inside went one way, went the other way. Ian Malone has it. Pierce McGrath has it. Good tackle by Peter McAvoy. The ball broke out. This young man's only on the young man's only on the field there. And the ball is up. Doesn't matter if it goes up or over. The one will have to get a goal anyway, regardless. But Liz it puts three points between the sides. Oni, the ball just fell off the tee on Oni. Just waiting for the referee to blow the whistle, as I said. He hasn't got it near the mouth at this stage. Keith in here and Peter McAvoy. The ball broke to Oni. Oni hits it first time. Little bit of a battle in there with Paul Ty. Just home, not too long home from Australia. Paul trying to get tackles in. Doing very well. Very strong by Paul. Very strong. And Paul has pushed over. And it's a free kick with some Conrad out there. Paul brings the ball up. The referee is <laughs> want every big man to play us in there at this stage. But what you want it's not every big man to play. You want a half decent ball put in. It's not a bad one. Derek rises for it, but broke for the Mead Hill man. The number ten has it. Who for Mead Hill had a good game. The referee is gonna. He was looking at at the watch there. Ah, silly fouls. Tom Connor by some silly fouls there again. 
and the referee blows the whistle blows the whistle here and now and it's 11 points to meet Hill to a goal and 5 points from Conrad a good game of football when all is said and done from Conrad had serious possession that second half and just did not make it count only got a few points at crucial times but that's the way it goes a good game a good game between the parish rivals But Mead Hill once again have the bragging rights for this year. And shall we see us in the touch for maybe a point or two? Yes, indeed, Thomas. Yeah, look at the second quarter belonged to Drum Conrath. And they really, when they went that point up, they should have pushed on a bit more, missed a few fees. Mead Hill, in fairness, when Drum Conrath the point up, they didn't concede anything more. It took them a while to get back into it, but a few gaps opened up. They tagged down a few points and, well, ended up winning by two points. It was a bit flattering. Drum Conrath unlucky, hit the crossbar in the first half. And, you know, on a different day with a different referee, there could have been three or four black cards against Mead Hill. Uh, it's very hard, the inconsistency. Uh, I was up in league last night, and uh, I'm still looking at Pat Clark with some decisions he gave uh, right at the end. It's hard to know what, what's going to happen now. But um, look at David Cahill and BX, absolutely thrilled to have got out of here with two points. Anthony Ronan really can take the positives out of it, John. Mead Hill are operating, or Thomas, uh, two divisions above them and uh, Drew Connors, you know, they can push on from here. It was a good performance, and it's really, rather than just wired up for this match, uh, because it was a local derby, they need to be for every other championship match. Oh, well, every, every other championship match after this, because Drew have a, it's as good a squad as from the team I've seen in many, many of the year, and it's great to have young uh, Skelly back there. Probably ran his team there, maybe in the second half. He did an awful lot of running there in the first half, Skell. Sean McMahon was standing, had to come off an injury, and the referee probably could have given him hundred, three or four free kicks there in the last ten minutes. He didn't see him, just kept putting his hands in his pockets nearly, and didn't want to no, put the whistle near the lips. But look, we're not going to be begrudge it. It was a good game of football. Fair play to the lads from Mead Hill, as you said, Larry, they, they, they got the score and didn't let some hundred out of sight at any stage there in the second half, and that ultimately is what won them the game. Absolutely, and maybe that little bit more experience of playing up in higher division, Sean, uh, that uh, stood to them in the end. So that's it from Park Tarleton here on a day when Mid Hill in the, the local derby have emerged victorious by three points. It's a good day from Thomas Dardis and Eli Mackenzie on camera.